What it is, guys, it's your Dino. We're back here again with another review, so let's just get straight into it. This one is for Watcher Chronicles. Ever wondered what a Dark Souls game would look like if it was animated in a nice style and it was 2D scrolling? Well, look no further. This is what you're going to be getting. So remember, guys, to Dino smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and ring the notification bell for all the notifications of when we go live or upload new content. As always, guys, I greatly appreciate you checking out the video, and I will put, drop any links that I can in the description below if I'm able to do so. And if they are affiliate links, they will support the channel. If they're not, they won't. That's all it is. That's just me being transparent. So as always, guys, this is a review that is spoiler-free, and it just tells you like it is my opinions my my perspectives and the, the features that the game has from all different uh perspectives that i can think of so you guys can make an informed decision and pick up the game if you want so this game is basically like a 2d souls game for the lack of a better way of describing it you have the ability to get involved with fast skill-based combat where you will experience challenging but fair souls like combat with tight and finely tuned controls, dodge, block, slice your way through all your enemies and kick butt. It has a large interconnected world where you can explore every crack of the purgatorial realm filled with secrets and game changing and game challenging loot that will, uh, will give you a non-linear fashion into the way that the game plays. If, for example, you could go into an area and there could be a big loot chest but there is a, a mini boss in that area. So you have to overcome that mini boss to get that cool loot. So this game has unique weapons. It has giant swords, blades, staffs, scythes, pole arms, and more to discover and master, which will allow you to incinerate enemies with waves of fire, fighting and void or summon the horde with powerful necromancy. It's really, really cool in that way. It has relentless bosses with over 20 different finely tuned challenging bosses that require you to carefully plan and and evaluate the way they fight. You will die a couple of times as you go through and it will happen. But it is a fun game. I, I left in all my deaths because this isn't my kind of game. I don't usually play a lot of Souls-like games, but this one I enjoyed. And I thought that it would be cool to show you all my fails as well as all my all my successes. I enjoyed playing the game. I got a couple of hours into it. I got quite far. Um, it's it's tough. It, it does scale very quickly. However, accessibility. It has con full controller support. It works with the PlayStation 5 controller, the PlayStation 4 controller, third party PlayStation 4 controllers like the Nacon. Revolution Unlimited with the paddles works perfectly fine with that works fine with the switch controller It works fine with the Xbox Elite controller and the standard Xbox controller It's all just plug-and-play and it works. It has Remappable controls so you can go in and say it up to your own style If you like to play with like the bumpers and stuff like that, it really does allow you to have that level of control and versatility to the game I think that this could be a good game for speedrunners and streamers alike. I feel like they would have a really good fun with it, especially if you're a Souls-like streamer and you like that kind of content. This could be cool. And in the YouTube world, this would be a cool one to do like a, a stream or a dedicated video on for like a, a no run, no hit run or a one weapon run and stuff like that. You can upgrade the weapons when you get to the blacksmith and you can do all sorts of stuff like that. You will see that that community area in the game later on. But this isn't just a single player game. This game has local co-op multiplayer take you where you can play it with a friend or you can play it online with full native stream remote play together support so you could play it with your buddy and you don't have to have two copies of the game and it's a really cool way of doing it and i think that a lot more games should adopt this play style of together co-op play it is something that will be really really good and would benefit the whole ecosystem as as a whole in my opinion to allow more and more people to get involved and give games a go but as always that's my opinion and i'd love to know what you guys think on that one sound off in the comments let me know what you think 
I think they did a really good, um, robust, streamlined RPG system. It's not too bloated. It's just, it gives you exactly what you need to progress through the story and feel like you are connected and driven to know what your character, the little purgatory knight, as I call him, you can have it in male or female. I'm running this in the female version. You can have multiple saves. It has a very... It, it, you could tell that it's inspired by the Souls franchise specifically. And they've done an amazing job of it. I think that the character design, the weapon design, they've done a really, really good job of it. And I feel that it is one of those little indie games that could do really, really well and could become a little cult classic and have a really cool following. People could do speed runs on it. They could do no hit runs, where, uh, sword only runs, bow only runs, and stuff like that. It would be very interesting to see where the community takes it. You can also upgrade your character. You can do the whole. It's the same way that souls work. It doesn't give you like a a level based enemy system. As you level up yourself, it will then level up the enemies accordingly. As you can see by the ascension grid here. You can do strength, vitality, dexterity, and focus. They've done a really good job with it. I feel like it is very, very simplistic, but it gets the job done perfectly. They've done a really good job of it. I like the unique weapons, and they are adding unique weapons and more weapons as a whole with the game before it releases, because this is given to me in early access. So I was getting, I got to play it before it was released, and one when when i was playing it they did actually do several updates and add in new weapons i didn't want to show them off because like you have to get further on in the game to see them because some of them are like pretty far in the game to get them but it is an rng based system on my run i didn't find them till later on but if another person plays it they could probably find it a good one earlier on so it does add that level of replayability versatility kind of thing it has new game plus as well where you can keep all your gear when you finish the game and continue the journey and make the game increasingly more difficult so it does add lots of replayability if you want to say have like a new game plus 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 you could do that and have your character be level 100 or whatever and, and have the enemies be super strong so it does add that cool unique replayability feature and i feel that that is a that is a good thing for this game to have because not enough games nowadays have replayability i do like the fact that you have a map it makes me think of stuff like metroidvania kind of games where you can have a map and you can check that and you can see where you are so good love that feature it is a great little game and even though i'm not a big souls fan this game is amazing definitely recommend checking it out there will be a link in the description for it I will definitely make sure I put one in there. But as always, guys, that's my opinion. If you think that it's a game that you might be interested in, sound off in the comments. Let me know. If you've played this game on early access, let me know. If this is your style of game, again, let me know. If you want me to review specific games or check out something, please sound off in the comments. I'm always trying to, to get a feel for what you guys want to see. We do go live on the channel six days a week and I'll see you when we go live. But as always, guys, thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.